Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Poppy's Cucina. Yeah, yeah, I got lots of things cooking, Lulu. I do, I promise. <laughs> All right, so who doesn't love stuffed artichokes? So delicious, but just takes forever to make. And it, frankly, they're kind of complicated to eat, you know, like, right? They're, they're kind of annoying. You're chewing on hard leaves, you know, because you want all that delicious breadcrumbs, but in those delicious artichoke hearts in the middle, so good. So I'm gonna show you an easy shortcut <laughs> today. We're gonna do um, an artichoke casserole. All the goodness of a stuffed artichoke without the hassle. All right, so wanna see how we make it? Just keep watching. Okay, to start, you need a large bowl and you need three and a half cups of Italian style breadcrumbs. I'm using panko. I like that the panko is a larger, uh, you know, breadcrumb. <laughs> and uh, so it has a little bit more texture. You can use regular if you want, but the Italian really, uh, the Italian seasoning and the added cheese really makes a difference in this recipe. All right, so to that, you're gonna add a quarter cup of olive oil and four tablespoons of melted butter. All right, so now we're gonna mix this up. Next, you're gonna add the juice of one lemon or three tablespoons of lemon juice and three cloves of minced garlic. Now mix that up. Okay, and then lastly, you're gonna add a quarter cup of a dry white wine, like a Pinot Grigio or um, a Sauvignon Blanc, one tablespoon of chopped parsley, fresh ideal, ideally, but if you have dried, use dried. I have dry. <laughs> and then half a cup of grated Pecorino Romano. You can use Parmesan as well, too. Um, and now we're gonna mix this all up. So into your casserole dish, you wanna add your artichoke hearts. I'm using frozen. I'm using uh, two 10 ounce bags of frozen artichoke hearts that I thawed and drained a little bit. Um, you can use cans, but again, you wanna dra drain those as well. So then you're gonna do a little bit of olive oil on top. Probably about two tablespoons, if that. All right, then just a little sprinkling of salt. And then we're gonna add our breadcrumb mixture on top of this. All right, so we got our breadcrumb mixture in here. I had to pack it down a little bit because there was a lot, but let's face it, the breadcrumbs are always the best part of stuffed artichokes, so. <laughs> so we're gonna drizzle a little bit more olive oil on top of this, just a little bit. All right, so then we're gonna cover it and then place it into a preheated 375 degree oven for about a half hour. And then we're gonna uncover it and bake it for about another 15, 20 minutes. All right, see how it comes out. Okay, so we just pulled this out of the oven, 30 minutes covered, 20 minutes uncovered. But now that we pulled it out, we're gonna cover this again. All right, and we're gonna let this cool for about 20 minutes before we serve it. I know Lulu's ready. All right, so we've allowed this to cool for a little bit, but not too much because we were on it cold. But look at it. <laughs> Looks crunchy and delicious, but let's see how it tastes. Okay, nice taste there. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. <laughs> okay, so this is so much easier than making and eating stuffed artichokes, but it tastes exactly the same. So full of flavor, so delicious. Mmm. -hmm. You get the cheese, you get the crunch, obviously the artichokes, but that little citrus hint that makes the stuffed artichoke so delicious. But so much faster, no boiling required or, you know, chewing on hard leaves. <laughs> this is just ready to eat. Perfect for an entree as or as a side. Ugh, so good. All right, so if you make this, let us know. Enjoy.